Fest is a new horror film from CBS Films and is also directed by Gregory Plotkin. And this film is about a group of friends who haven't seen each other in a long time due to commitments to college. They're all getting together to go to this amusement park called Hellfest to celebrate the October Halloween season. But uh-oh, when they get there, they're starting to be stalked by this one guy in a weird mask and a hoodie. And at first they think it's just a part of the amusement park. It's just an actor going overboard on his job. But then they start to think, you know what? Maybe that's not the case. Maybe there's more to this guy than meets the eye. I saw the trailer for this movie before Unfriended 2, and I thought this movie looked amazing. Obviously not in the intentionally good way, just in a, this could be so funny that I could just love this movie. But also because it seems like a really fun concept to be had here. You have a killer tracking down these guys, but since they're in a Halloween-themed amusement park, they're not really sure what's real and what's not. If they wanted to exceed expectations, they could really play with that psychological torment there. However, I didn't have much hope when I found out the director did Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, which is, in my opinion, the worst Paranormal Activity films. It's an overrated series in general, but that one is definitely the worst one. And this film is definitely better than Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. Thank God for that. Is it really a good film, though? Mm, that's debatable. This movie opens up with a really good idea of a first kill, and you're like, alright, I could get into this, but then later on in the film, when they say something about the event that just happened, you start to think, hey, wait, that doesn't make any sense. And it's in the trailer, there's two characters saying there was a girl murdered and it took them three days to find her body because they thought she was just a prop. But then when you think back to that opening scene, you're like, wait, she walked in with two other friends. They got separated and that's when she got killed, but... Those two friends just left her there for three days and didn't cause any fuss about it. Like, that's kind of dumb. So that opening scene and the character description for it later is kind of a good reflection on this movie overall for me. I was a little frustrated at a lot of times because I could see the potential for this film to just get completely insane and absurd, but a lot of times they just pick some stuff that didn't really make sense to me. I do want to say some good things though. Amy Forsythe and Robbie Atal. These two actually had some pretty good chemistry with each other. They're the flirt Tatious too out of the group. They're always making jokes with each other, but I was actually enjoying seeing them on screen. I thought, oh, what a great relationship. I can't wait for it to end abruptly, which it does. But I just wish there was a little bit more of that kind of charismatic spark between those two with the rest of the cast, because although I will give them credit, they do come across as genuine, just teenage friends going out into a Halloween-themed amusement park. There's a great genuine performance when it comes to that, but the character writing for them is just so surface level like you meet them in the beginning for a short little while and they establish every single cliche. The two lead women, Brooke and Natalie, they haven't seen each other in a long time and they're so excited to see each other but there's another friend played by the girl who's in the Scream TV series and Voltron Legendary Defenders. She's the troublemaker and she's friends with one of the girls but not so much the other one and then there's the other taglongs and the long lost love interest. So as much as their performances were really genuine when they were going into this amusement park and just having fun with each other, it's not really that strong because there's no real substance to them at all. There's moments where they try to have it, but it doesn't really come through in the way that you'd want it to. It doesn't really make you care about them more. It's just things that characters are supposed to say, so, meh. I do want to give credit to another thing, though. The amusement park itself, very well realized. Not only is the film a good concept with this amusement park and the idea of what's real, what's not, but also the way they built it up, like the great construction job, the great lighting, the great costumes for the people walking around and scaring everyone, like, that's really great stuff. They really did establish this place as its own thing. Like, you could actually walk onto the screen and you'd be there. Like, you could see it, like, down the street from you or something. Not only did they do a good job of making it seem like Hellfest was a real place, but they also did a good job of actually utilizing the amusement park into some of the killer's kills. There's a few in here where I was like, Jesus Christ, that's amazing. There's one in particular, like, it's one of the first ones, and I was like, dude, that's awesome. Awesome. And then also the third act of the movie, uh, it, it also utilizes something that you'd find at an amusement park like this. And I thought it was a really great idea and it legit did add some suspense and it was just a great idea in general. There's a couple dumb things that happen like you're thinking, okay, why didn't the characters just do this when they had the time? Or how did this character find out that this could happen? Or some, some things like that. But overall, it's a fine, fun horror movie third act. Unfortunately, though, not every kill is as clever as some of the other ones. There's just uh, there's just a lot of just generic 
stabbing overall, and I was just like, okay, like, I'm, I'm fine with some slasher stuff, but you showed me some really inventive amusement park-themed kills, and now you're just gonna go back to, eh? It's like, I, I'm kind of expecting a little bit more now. Another thing that really got under my skin is that the overall concept of this film really isn't as well explored as it could have been. The idea of, is this gonna be real or is it not gonna be real? There's plenty of moments in this film where I was thinking, oh, are they gonna leave this up to the audience? Like, you have no idea if this is like an actual thing that you're seeing or is it a part of the amusement park and then all of a sudden they'll jump scare you and you're like oh okay it's a part of the amusement park and I get it every horror themed amusement park people are jumping out at you all the time and as you kind of go on you kind of get tired of it it gets just really repetitive and that's how I can describe a lot of the jump scares in this film especially when they just focus on the amusement park ones that are obviously fake my main problem with it though is that there are certain moments where they kind of build on it and you're like oh is this is this real what is it and then all all of a sudden it just jump scares you and you're like, oh, okay, no need to think about it, no need to question it at all. It's just exactly what you think it is. And there are plenty of other moments where I think they really could have built on the absurdity of this story. Like, there's a few moments where I was thinking like, oh, is this happening because of this? Or is this now going to happen because they just introduced this? And no, a lot of things that I was thinking, this is going to change the story. It's kind of explained away really quickly. And I was just thinking like, oh, okay, you just want to stick to like, just generic slasher movie with the one slasher dude, and I'm like, that's, like, that's fine, but you're not really, you, do you not see the potential you're dealing with here? And maybe it's budgetary stuff, but at the same time, if it was a great movie, I don't think it would really matter that much, because people would just go see it anyways. I don't really hate this movie, though. Am I disappointed that certain ideas were kind of left and swept under the rug? Yeah, a little bit. Am I a little disappointed that a lot of the jump scares just got really repetitive after a while? Of course. But I'd say, for the most part, I wasn't really hating on it. As much as I thought the characters could have been better written, I think the genuine side of their performances worked really well, and I like the two love interest chemistry. I think they worked really well together, and I wish I saw more of that. It was a nice little spark of life. I like I like certain kills that they did, and I like the concept overall, and I like this Hellfest amusement park. It's just that overall, the story is what's really lacking for me. And their attempt here is to make a tribute film to, like, classic 80s horror films. That's been pretty much confirmed to me after seeing, like, this trailer they released where they kind of do that same aesthetic. And that's fine, but it just feels like all they were trying to do was just have this great, like, 80s horror movie idea and then kind of nothing else. And I was really expecting a lot more from this movie. And before I end this video, I want to talk about the killer real quick and I think it would have been really interesting especially if they're trying to tribute 80s horror slasher films if they tried to do a Michael Myers kind of thing I know Halloween didn't come out in the 80s technically it was like late 70s but for a while I thought they were trying to go for like a Michael Myers kind of vibe and at certain parts you can definitely tell that that's kind of what they're referencing like you don't see his face ever and it's not really that important that you do see his face just that he is this killer that'll stop at nothing to get you and then as the film kind of starts to wrap up near the end and they introduce an idea about his character I was thinking you know what that actually could have been really interesting if you explored this more if you explored why you decided to make the killer this. And instead, the movie cuts to black and you're just left wondering what could have been, like with this amount of potential, what this movie could have actually been. It's a fine enough, like simple Halloween movie you can watch once and then just throw away from the rest of your life. I'm gonna give Hellfest a C plus. Besides the fact that there's a lot of missed potential with the story and there's a lot of other choices that were made that I can't really agree with, some character writing could have been better, I still enjoyed myself for the most part. I think I was enjoying it more than hating it. There's definitely some parts where I was kind of unintentionally laughing, but for the most part I thought they actually did a nice-ish job with the potential they had, but it's just I could pinpoint so many places where they could have made it better and just gone to this whole other level other than just this generic kind of tribute movie. But if you've seen Hellfest, leave in the comments below what you thought of it. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.